feel them uh, feel their support behind me. And pre-season friendlies to come after this training camp, of course, but then another long championship season. You've got great experience in this championship, in this league, which is one of the hardest divisions in the world really to get out of, and you'll be looking to use that over the next nine months. Absolutely. My my plan and the, the club's plan is to get to the Premier League, and that's, uh, that's exactly what I'm here for. Hello, welcome back to my channel. What well, this is behind closed doors hashtag forty one reacting to the official announcement of Joel Chinaman. Um I ain't gonna I ain't gonna bang on because I've done a video on him joining me all tomorrow yesterday night, but it's official he signed on the dotted line and George Hanneman becomes Mill's second summer signing of the summer. Oh well, did I say that by the wrong way? Oh well. So yeah, look, I think it's a smart piece of business from Gary Rowett. I'm liking what he's hearing saying in his interview already. I will put his interview in this squad, uh, in this video, sorry. Um, so we will all together welcome George Hanneman to SE16. He is officially a Lion. He joined up with the squad today to be put through his paces so look i think i'm gonna end it here but he's a very very good sign and i thought uh, i think gary Rowett said he's taking teams their players um we need to be patient and he's doing that jewel Cunningham, in my opinion jewel Cunningham is um holt is his best player so yet again it's a clap from me Benny Kofobi is a lion. I'm just waiting for the club to put out his first words and then I will do the video on him. But Julia Hanneman is officially a lion and becomes our second summer signing. Welcome on board and let's welcome Julia Hanneman to the Lions together. I'm going to pass you over to Jules now. Over and out. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Welcome to SC16, Jules. George Hanneman, welcome to Millwall. You joined the club as the second summer sign-in. First of all, just give us your thoughts on being here. Absolutely delighted. Um, really, really happy to get it through the door. Um, really happy to meet the lads and all the staff today. And yeah, can't wait to get my teeth into it and get going. How did the deal come about and when did you first hear of the initial interest? Yeah, so at the end of last season, um, obviously Hull hadn't triggered my option in my contract yet. And uh, I'd spoken to the manager uh, here and uh, Alex as well and um, you know about how, how they'd like to bring me in and uh, you know how they see me fitting in and stuff like that um, and then obviously uh, through the summer Hull had triggered my contract but my, uh, my agent had said there's still interest there and then basically as soon as the window opened the, the, the club put in uh, a couple of well, a few bids for me and uh, yeah it all happened pretty pretty smoothly pretty quickly and uh, yeah it's just it's it's really nice to be at a place where you know they obviously want want me badly so it's, uh, it's great you flew out with Benicophobi last night quite a late night for you I think but uh, you joined at a good time you were here in the training camp here in the Republic of Ireland you get a chance to spend time with the players 24 7 definitely I think it's the best way to kind of knit myself into the group obviously first day meeting the lads at the end you know I couldn't ask to, for a nicer bunch uh, They've been really welcoming uh, from uh, from the staff to, to to the players, and yeah, it's, it's I'm only it's only going to get easier with them, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to to work with these boys all year. We know you know George Long, of course, yeah. from your whole city days. But is there anyone else you know here that you maybe played with or played against over time? No, uh, I've not that I've played with. Uh, I know some of the boys just from obviously playing against them and uh, playing at the den against them and stuff like that, but. Uh, but yeah, um, it's a pretty small world football and uh, I probably know someone that all the lads know or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but as I said, they've been they've been great with me uh, so far and I don't see any problems fitting in. Uh, we've seen you, as you just said, play at the Den for Sunderland and Hull over time. But what can Millwall fans expect to see from George Honeyman in a Millwall shirt this time? Yeah, I, I don't think they'll ever be disappointed in my effort and uh, what I... Uh, I like to put myself about. I like to be or uh, get get around the pitch, um, uh, chip in with goals, assists, uh, tackles. I'm a midfielder, so I like to think I can do a, a bit of everything. And uh, yeah, I I would like to say that I'll I'll do them proud uh, in, when I wear the Millwall shirt. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to to be in the den and play in front of them. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to being on the other side of that? Because obviously it's opposition teams that come to the den, yeah. they get a little bit of stick. So how much are you looking forward to being a pro Millwall player this time? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, I still enjoy playing at the den because it's it's one of the best atmospheres that you play in in the championship. So 
um, to obviously have them supporting me now will be a fantastic thing and I'm sure it'll uh, push my performances uh, even higher. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to, to be out there in a Millwall shirt and feel them uh, feel their support behind me. And pre-season friendlies to come after this training camp, of course, but then another long championship season. You've got great experience in this championship, in this league, which is one of the hardest divisions in the world really to get out of and you'll be looking to use that over the next nine months. Absolutely. My my plan and the, the club's plan is to get to the Premier League and that's that's exactly what I'm here for. Um, it, it, it is a tough uh, tough league, but it, it's always up for grabs and it's always for whoever wants it the most and whoever has the best quality on the day. So um, hopefully I can bring that to the club and hopefully I can uh, push, it, push the club up the table.